Hi, it's me Dr. Ija. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do or testing the normality using numerically or graphically. So once you have opened your data file in SPSS, you need to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics and choose Explore. Under Explore, you will see this box. What you need to do is that Let's say you want to um, check normality for some score of motivation and some score for attitude. In my, my um, example here, I have two variables which are motivation and attitude. I'm going to screen or I'm going to check for the normality of these two variables. So I'm going to move it to the dependent list. Next, what I need to do is click statistics, leave it uh, at 95. A confident interval of mean. Continue. Plot. You can choose a histogram and click normality plot with test. Okay, and then you can click continue and okay. So under the output, you can see that this is the case processing summary of the output where it show the um, valid and cases missing. In this case, no uh, missing data. This is the descriptive statistics for both some score motivation and some score attitude. So now we are interested in looking at the test of normality because we want to check the normality of the variables. So since the value uh, or total number of respondents for my um, data or my research is less than uh, 50. So I'm going to look at the Shapiro wheel uh, output for motivation and attitude. And what we want is that the value of P or the P value should be more than 0 0.05, indicating that the data uh, is normally distributed or uh, normally uh, have normal distribution. So in this case, for some score motivation, the value of uh, significant value or the P value is 0 0.047. It shows that the value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, the uh, sum score motivation or the data for uh, sum score motivation is not normally distributed. But for sum score of attitude, the p value is 0 0.079, which is more than 0 0.05. So it indicated that this value, yeah, or the data score for attitude is, um, normally distributed since the p-value is more than 0 0.05, okay? Beside checking normality uh, using uh, numbers, okay, you can also check normality using graph, using graph. So remember just now I click on histogram. So from here, you can see that this is a graph of histogram for some score of motivation. So how do we know whether the um, graph show your data is normally distributed or not, uh, it should show, show a bell-shaped curve. So how do we get the bell-shaped curve? So you can double-click on the graph and this, is, this will appear on your screen, the chat editor. So there's a bell show distribution curve. Yeah, there's a, a sign or symbol where you want to show a distribution curve. So automatically, it will appear on your screen or on your graph, the distribution curve, and then just close. So here from the chat editor, you can see that there is a um, distribution curve or it shows that this graph or the data is normally distributed because it shows a bell-shaped curve, okay? So automatically in your output, on your output, there is now the distribution curve appear on your histogram. So from the graph or from the histogram, we can say that uh, for motivation, well, there is um, uh, normal or the data is normally distributed because it shows the normal uh, curve. Yeah. How about for uh, attitude? Again, you can double click and choose the distribution curve. Right, close. And here we can say that for attitude, the data is also normally distributed because it show 
the normal curve or bell shape curve. So as a conclusion, like I said, you can choose whether to report your uh, the normality of your data using numbers, which is using Kolmogorov-Smirnov and Sha or Shapiro wheel. Okay, this value, or you can use graph using histo histogram or QQ plot. Yeah, for both the the variables that you chosen or any variables that you have chosen. Thank you very much for watching this video.